we start seeing a positive correlation in which prices are increasing now in July, August, September, October, November, December, and when things kind of level out, then we see another decrease into 2024, January, February, March. And again, these are real life historical data price trends for single family real estate as we can see through July, August prices are increasing. So proceeding on, uh, now I want to be able to just test, do 80-20 split, specifically on my features, um, price, I want to do a linear regression model training, and then I want to predict on my test data, I want to be able to derive my slope, intercept, MAE score, and RMSE test score as well. Let's see my outputs down here and then from a linear regression perspective um this is historical my actual prices are the black dots as you can see and then my linear regression is the blue line which is fitted over our historical price trends now i'm going to compute and derive a LLS model to determine how confident i am um, based off historical and then additionally predict future prices over the next 12 months. I'm starting, as you can see here, taking a look at our RLS result, specifically our R squared and our adjusted R squared, we can see some beautiful computations. Our R squared score is 0 0.882 and our adjusted R score is 0 0.877. Both of these are indicators that this one specifically will be able to predict out with pretty high confidence the future predicted prices. The future predicted prices. Uh, this is where the light comes, right? So, taking a look at our outcomes, we can see that 1.02 million is a future predicted price. You can also see that that's kind of close to what this bond market for. So this is real life. Um, we're able to actually see the real results and more importantly, be able to make more informed decision making to help us save money.